As we drive down here, you can see it is a uh, camper van valley, it looks like, doesn't it? Yeah. And I think I think what it is, is this is the last sort of like wild camping free spot you can have before you leave. And everyone seems to be being really respectful. We had a lovely night. Uh, Shell and Maximus slept through the thunderstorm. Got some light twists in it, but... Yeah, I didn't, I didn't think I'd wake you up just to see no. the thunderstorm. You were well away. Maximus was up at four. Yeah, four o'clock was my wake up call. Uh, you did well, you slept through a bit longer, didn't you? Yeah, I did. You were dead to the world, really. Yeah. I had to back in my day and get slower. Yeah. But yeah, it was a lovely spot to uh, have a sleep, and we're going to do the drive a bit further into the Alps today. Um, we're heading for probably into Larkin. So yeah, we'll crack on with nice. the drive. It was comfortable, it wasn't too hot outside. It was oh, just it, comfortable. It was, After the last few nights. Yeah, it was really nice Thank just you. to have <laughs> a night where you felt like you needed to just pull a bit of a cover around you. Yeah. Instead of just absolutely baking yeah. all night long. A what percent on this tablet? 100. 100% on Wolfie's tablet. I have to charge it all the time. You charge it all the time, don't okay. you? You to charge his tablet or in July or in September. You, you always charge his tablet. And for Christmas and for Easter. And for Christmas and for Easter. And Valentine's Day. And, ba and Valentine's Day. So it's college, twi uh, college Twist's birthday. Was that College Twist's birthday? Yeah, it's on Valentine's Day. Was it? Wow. Yeah. You know everybody's birthday. Whose birthday is it today? Alec. How old will Alec be? 12. There we go, Alec will be 12. Look at that, Paul. Wow. Wow.
Grimsel Pass was covered in cloud. The Berg Hotel. The big lake is just down there. After the summit of Grimsel, we soon descended out of the clouds and we were treated to even more spectacular views of the dams and the lakes they created. Everywhere in Switzerland is just an oil painting. It doesn't matter the weather conditions, everything is just spectacular. We've got no choice now. We're going to have to bite the bullet and get some fuel in Switzerland. I think the cheapest we've seen it is two euros five a litre, which is much dearer than everywhere else. A, a friend of ours lives in uh, Kitzbühel and he said it was uh, 147 the other day. And we've had down to 155, I think, a litre. Um, we've also just been into the uh, Volg uh, like it's it's like a co-op or a mini mart or something like that, whichever you'd like to call it. And my goodness, six euros for a loaf of bread. Okay. Uh, six francs actually for a loaf of bread. Six Nine francs. Nine francs eighty for a kilo. A kilo for nectarines. Nine francs eighty a kilo for nectarines. Um, it was very expensive. Eight euros for six litre bottles of still water. <laughs> Yeah, so we're going to interlock into the Aldi and we'll see what's the cheapest fuel on the way. I'm hoping to only fill one tank up in Switzerland. I know Aldi wasn't bad though, was it? Yes. Interlock. Yes. Yes, you have to go to the left. Right. Highway. You don't have the highway ticket. The road is closed. Ah, right. Yeah, there's no other way around. No. Oh. Yeah. Hopefully there's no police. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there's a massive hill yeah, for so Either you swim or you take the highway. <laughs> These are the two options I can give you. Okay, okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.
好的嘞。I think we're about three miles outside of Interlaken now. Um, so there's been a huge landslide over that side of the lake and it closed the road. It slid onto the road, the chap said. Um, and he sent us up and onto the uh, expressway, which we weren't uh, too happy about because we've just been driving the roads. We've not paid the toll but it was only for one junction down um, to get us around and back onto this side because that's the only way to go but uh, wow it's just it's just on another level isn't it Switzerland let's get going into Interlaken so mum and dad go to the shop so we go back soon okay Is this it? It certainly is. Is this where you can camp? Yeah, it looks like it. We go sleep here. Right. Yeah. Isn't it? Yeah. Hello! <laughs> You're such a donut. Right, are you waiting here? morning again from the Swiss Alps and I've just done a whole bit to camera and I forgot to put the memory card back in last night one of these days I'll learn how to do this properly anyway we are above Interlaken in Habkern and over that way is Interlaken then Lauterbrunnen, Grindelwald, the Eiger, the Jungfrau and we stayed at, for this area, a really good value place to stay, really. Uh, this is the Sport Hotel Alpenrose. Maximus was on the trampoline last night. And for us, this was 25 Swiss a night. And we've got a couple of nights here. There's also tourist tax of four a night for adults and 150 a night for kids. Why dogs not come in? For, because I think it, it'd be too hot for her. She's much cooler in the van with the fans on. So, we're in this lovely little village or town of Habkern. And in the winter, this is a really small ski resort with just one lift and five or six runs, like a little family thing of varying degrees. And in the summer, well, it's just stunning. We're staying just there. There's a shower and a loo on the site and you get the guest card with it. And what that guest card does is it allows you to get the bus included in your stay. So your public transport's included, um, bus and rail within the area of the card. And we're gonna go down into Interlaken today. Have you ever seen a bus stop like it? There's the bus stop. And uh, the bus leaves at half past every hour. Go on, you can go and sit in the bus stop. It's nice in there. This was put up in 2003. But this is your view from your bus stop. Now up here in this little village, I'm just checking the time. Yeah, we're fine. Up here in the little village is a community pool. And it's uh, eight euros an adult, six euros an adult, four euros a child. So we get 50% off that price as well with the guest card. Uh, so that works out about eight euros for us all to go for a swim later. It's not a massive pool, but you can see the view. is just awesome. And there's a little pool and the view across. Oh. Right, I need to get back down to the bus stop to catch that bus. 
and I'm so warm now after doing it twice. And the second time wasn't as good. Anywho, I'll catch up with you on the bus. We took the bus down to Interlaken and got off at the centre station. So we're in the centre of Interlaken then. We're going to have a look around and then get another bus. Maximus had walked as far as he was going. He did really well, we got 20 minutes out of him, and then we got the bus and headed down to the lake. Okay, ready, steady, go. and we made our way back to the bus stop. We got the bus from the lake to the centre and then from the centre back up to Habkern. We put the stuff in the van, let Freya out for a little minute and then headed to the pool for a swim. I just swapped it for now. <laughs> <laughs> you ready? <laughs> oh, I missed you. Hey, that was a great jump. <laughs> and that was it. Another adventure complete. We settled down for the night and enjoyed some tea and the view and the storm and the moon over the mountains. day and we'll be heading to Lauterbrunnen and Grindelwald. See you next time. Thanks for watching. Take care.